So here's a quick demonstration of the cat engine blink codes and how to pull them if you're driving a cat engine truck. So first I want to show you what these blink codes are. I realize these can actually be a little difficult to find sometimes on the internet. So if you need to pause the screen right here and you can take a look at these codes. I will show you these codes after I demonstrate how to get the blink code as well. So on this truck, I don't have an engine code right now. You know, the light would be over in this area. That's okay, the process is still the same. So in order to pull a code, the key needs to be on. You can be driving doing this, which we don't recommend, but just the key needs to be on. You have to turn off cruise control, and then I'm gonna push and hold the set button. And then if your engine light's on, it's gonna shut off and then it'll start blinking and you gotta start counting it. It'll pause and then you gotta count again. So let me show you, I'm gonna push and hold set. And here it goes. Three, four, five, and it took a break. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then it stopped. So that's code 55. It flashes, you count that up, it stops and takes a break, you'll do it again. If you have multiple codes, it will take a break and it'll start flashing again, and you count that code. They're always two digit codes, so you don't think you've got a, a weird one that's got three digits or something, it's always two digits. And it's as simple as that. Once you've counted that, you can then go and look at this list of codes and identify what your problem is. Some of these are more serious than others. I'm not gonna point that out right now. Um, you can look some of that information up. Uh, I had code 55, which is no code, which makes sense because I don't have an engine light right now. And it's just that simple. That's how you pull cat engine codes.